I'm filming today with Anna. Are you guys excited? Cannot wait. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I in this sinking mood? Today? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me with a special friend, special guest. This is her second time on my channel, guys. This is Anna from Dose of Colors. Hey so most of you guys know her because she's obviously an incredible makeup artist turned to boss lady who owns Dose of Colors. She's honestly just an inspiring person that I've loved. We're good friends and we wanted to do a get ready with me today. We figured this would be a good opportunity to sit down, chit chat with you guys, get to know us a little more, get to know more about Dose, the brand, how they started. And I asked you guys on Instagram to send over some questions Questions, and we've been getting a ton of them very good questions so yeah so most of you guys like I said don't know that Anna and I go way back in the day way back to 2013 yeah way before dose even started we were both freelancing we should put a picture of us here oh, we did I'll dinner at Katuya there was not even DM on Instagram that you had to like write a comment oh my emails in my bio and then they email them to like have a direct message with them and then we went to dinner and then we just clicked right away. I think yeah. it was like we talked for like two hours. And then after that, we've had a lot of good memories <laughs> yeah. together. She was always there for me. Oh. When I launched Dose, we went to New York to celebrate launching Dose over there. Um, we were at, you were at IMAX. my IMAX. I worked for IMAX booth back yes, in the day. First, the first year, every, uh, we all slept over at my house. Yeah. Karen, Henry, Griselda. Um, so she's been there for me. And she always is so supportive of me and oh. Dose and all the launches. So. You know, this uh, collaboration is very special to me and close to my heart because her and I go way back. Yeah. And we just, you just, when you bond, you bond, so. Back in the day when I used to freelance, if I had like a super early gig or something, like I didn't live in LA, so I would sometimes just crash in my car and there was nights that like, she would tell me stay at my house and I would not want to because I felt so bad. But there was a few nights that I did crash at her place, me and Sebastian, we'd crash on their couch. <laughs> <laughs> her poor baby going to school in the morning, just look at us in the morning like, who are these strangers on my couch? So we had a lot of a lot of good memories. Good, together. good memories. Yeah, so this has like been a very awesome like experience being able to do this with a brand who I absolutely love and adore and feel like is just in the best, one of my favorite top five brands, you know, and it's one of those like every year Anna keep, continues to launch more and more things, her brand gets bigger and bigger. And I, mm -hmm. I watched her go from glosses to mattes to lipsticks to shadows to everything to now I know next year things she's already working on that I'm like, wow, girl, you're gonna be Ooh, full, I got goosebumps. <laughs> full on like her capsule aisle, whatever you call that inside <laughs> Ulta, Sephora, wherever she's going to be is going to just expand. And I feel like, I feel like the reason why I believe in Anna's products so much is because because she comes from like the artistry background. She's experimented so many products that she knows what's up, she knows what's good. I think that's what makes her so unique is that she has that like artistry background, which I click to because when I see something, I can you sure know like if it's good or bad. things. Yeah. yeah, of course, I picture it and I'm like, oh, this will work, this, you know. So I feel like I've never been disappointed with anything Anna's ever. Oh, and if you guys, so much and if you guys go back to my videos, you see I have a lot of videos using her stuff because I'm like, they're just one of a kind. It's just gonna always stay in like, my makeup That's room. So sweet. It, that means so much to me because, you know, when you launch something, whether it's one product or a few, you know, a lot, you put a lot of work into launching something. I have something. to say this is, yeah, yeah definitely so eye-opening to me. I'm when like, I wow. hear um, my friends or just customers saying good things, that honestly, it touches my heart. It means a lot to me. So thank you. And thank you to everyone who supports yeah. those. So now that you guys know a little bit about us, I think we should get started on our makeup. We're obviously going to be using my collection, but we're going to just be, you know, chilling, hanging out. We have coffee coming right now. We're excited. We both are a little, it's Monday. We got the Monday, uh, <laughs> What do you call that? I'm still, I don't know it's, if I'm ready for a Monday today. Guys, I'm a little puffy right now. I had a little. You're glowing. I mean, you have the natural I am, glow. I am glowing. I need what you have on. <laughs> yes! Starbucks? <laughs> I see your head peeking in and I was like, wait, you read my mind. Starbucks! Barbie's in the Thank house. You. Thank you, my love. We got Thank lentils too. Thank you, almond milk. I'm gonna be Starbucks free today. What? gonna be a good girl. I haven't had Starbucks in three weeks. I'm fasting, so I used to drink Starbucks every single morning, trying to drink more water. Yeah, do but. you wanna switch? <laughs> we did our brows first because we do take a while, both of us, on our brows. I think we took, what, 15 minutes on our brows today? I so. hate, I'm so over doing brows. So what, what colors are you gonna be doing today, do you think? I'm gonna do the blue. I'm gonna Me recreate. Too. I'm gonna recreate the look I posted on Instagram a few days ago, because a lot one? of people requested. Which one was that? This one. 
Oh, with lotion. the blue. Yes, that was so a bomb So I'm going to do that look. Have you tried Armenian coffee? Yeah. The, oh, yeah. It's Armenian so coffee, strong. It's, but it's, I can drink that. But I can't drink like a, a black coffee. I'm a fake coffee drinker. I just get iced caramel macchiato because it's sweet, because it tastes good. But it has so much calories that now because I'm fasting, I'm saving those calories so I can eat food. So I'm gonna open up some questions because I see some of them coming in. So this one is from With Love Tiana, and she's asking, "Do you ladies miss freelancing?" I do and I don't. I'll yeah, tell you why. Me too. You go um, first. I do because I had so many amazing um, clients that I missed their face. It was like the perfect canvas to, you know, create looks on them. Um, I just miss that and um, just being creative and working on different skin tones, right. skin textures, different like eye shapes. I think I miss that part of it, but I don't miss the hours because oh, yeah. I used to wake up like at 4 a.m. <laughs> to be at the salon at 5 a.m. Yeah. to get started. I don't miss that, but I do miss my clients, which other than that, I don't miss it because the hours. Mm -mm. I, I feel like I, I was a workaholic. Like, oh yeah, you're. Your I couldn't hours say I no. Seeing. I couldn't say no. And I remember one time, like I would go home. I had, I didn't know what a weekend was. I would go home all like tired, like a zombie, and I would just knock out. When we started dose, I used to do dose and freelance. So one day, Ara was like you know what, like, I think you need to, you know, take it down a notch because yeah. you're gonna collapse. Like, you can't work all these it's hours. A lot. It's a lot. I'm the same way, I miss and I don't miss. What I don't miss is because before I freelance, I used to live back home in the Inland Empire and I used to drive to LA, which could be anywhere from like a one and a half to Long three hour yeah. commute. So I didn't miss the commute. Um, and then when I'd be done with the client, sometimes I wouldn't have another one for like two hours. So I'd have to sit in my car somewhere, wait, kill time, whatever it was. So I felt like I just like, would be a whole day you know, just in LA for like a few clients. So I don't miss that, but I do miss working on clients because I feel like I was very creative and I felt like I was, I loved being able to try new eye combos and really, I think what I miss the most is like the reactions from clients when you yeah. do a transformation. When you see them smiling. Oh my God. Like being able to see them so happy and feel amazing because I know that feeling, I know what that's like and I know that you want to feel and look your best and there's nothing better than being able to know that you're responsible for making that person feel yeah. that way. All right, so I went ahead, I'm taking in this MAC uh, Give Me Sun Bronzer. I'm gonna use this as a transition. And I'm using the um, Hula from Benefit. Oh, it's so funny we're using both bronzers. Oh, okay, so what inspired us to make this collection and all the names and colors that you chose? Actually, you know what's so crazy about the collection is that I've always been in love with plants. Everyone who knows me knows oh, I yeah. absolutely adore plants. Like, so many plants in my house, and I've always just loved it. And I've always loved the concept of the pink and plant look. I thought it was always so cute, so pretty. So I remember when Anna and I started talking about this collab, I came to her with this idea, and she freaking had it also. Yeah, it was so crazy because we both were like, oh, Oh, oh shit, oh shit. We like, both like, had the same idea. Like, like what I want to do, she's like, I had this idea already in mind, this and that, and she pulled it out. She already had, we like, had like a mood board. And when she showed me that, I said, Anna. It was, and I went it was like crazy. This, and I was like, like yeah. let me tell you, we had the same idea in mind. And then from there, it just. And it, we were both so excited. We're like, no way. Like, we couldn't believe it. What inspired uh, the names and colors? So, the names, of course, I feel like I always want them to tie into me. I was like yeah, adding a little bit of you. a Latina, Spanish twist in there. I have to always incorporate that. Um, like, peachy, spelled with a double I, just like Isla Sarai. It's one of the things you have to look at it, and it has to bring something to you. You have to feel it. Um, I know for like poquito mas, anytime I'm like doing my inner corner highlight or my lid, I'm always like, oh, I just gotta add a little more, just a little more, you know? Because you just want that pop. And yeah. when I saw that color, I was like, poquito mas. They kind of come to you randomly too, where you like, like I would just jot them down in notes, not thinking that like, okay, maybe that could be a possible name, I gotta look at it, but you, you have to also feel it, you know? You really have to love it. You can't just like, like you know, I can't not just pick, I'm gonna wear this one just because, you know, maybe people will buy it. It's like, no, I wanna love it. I wanna love it and wear it and be represent me, and I want people to feel the same way too. So, that's pretty much it. Very, that. I love Sarai. So I put loungy all over uh, my lid. Are we, I'm like, I think we're doing technically the same look because I feel like I'm doing almost the same one too. And now I'm going to add this beautiful black that's called Finders Keepers and it has... Oh my God, I was signing them, Have, did you know, I'm, I'm sure you know this, but these what? two mixed make emerald? Yes. Did you know that? Yes. Woo! Honey. No, it's so it good. I'm having a bad hair day. No, don't worry about it. So another question I keep getting asked a lot of is, what was my favorite 
product to make from the collection? Question. That's a hard yeah. one. I, favorite I to know. make it's, was it's the lip hard. products. That's... I want to say lip products are my favorite because I love lip products. Most exciting to make were the shadows and highlights because those you're like, ooh, like we would literally gag over like, like <laughs> oh. the highlighter. Oh my god. All of them. Yeah, we would literally go like, oh my god, oh my gosh, look, look, look. And then you know with the lip ones, it's more like, ooh, bomb, yes, no. And then there was a couple times where we were like. We'd sit there for like an hour. And when it, sometimes oh, it's like sticky, so they have to tweak mm, the formula. It's dry. It's like, it takes like days, days to really like try it out. But it really gives me a lot of respect for any brand making any product because it takes so much time and effort and energy. And you know, it's like. I, keep getting, I have two, I'm sorry, I have two palettes here. I keep getting from this palette. I'm using this one as a mirror. Just had to throw it out. I don't want you guys to not think I'm using something else. Okay, this is the good one. So this is from Sumaya Sully. Wait, Sumaya Sully. I, I, I forget how to pronounce her name, but I she is someone who I've actually um, set makeup to before. So hey, girl. Oh, that's cute. She's a sweetheart, yeah. Um, so she's asking, what is my favorite thing about Anna, vice versa? I can answer. So my favorite thing about Anna <laughs> is that she is a hard, hard worker, guys. I was like, gonna say that about you. No. You took mine away. <laughs> she is such a hard worker and somebody who I don't know how she balances life work everything because she does a really good job at making sure she gets to everything she has spent time with her kids she has two boys that she loves so much she gives all her time to them yeah that's and when she's fine. at work she's just here at work she's doing her thing but she doesn't stop she's always on it and i feel like seeing that with work and like how she balances it all is inspiring for me like she's somebody who i think i mentioned this before and like my top 10 people or five women who inspire me she was one of them for that reason. And I'm like, you know, to, to, to have a brand and it be not only just any brand, it's so successful, doing so good. Knowing how to balance your time and disconnect is so important. Right. And I feel like that's inspiring. Um, but yeah, that's that's something about her that I admire so much. It's and so she's sweet. such a good. goofball, like, I such a one. goofball <laughs> that you guys like have no idea. Like the stuff that comes out of our mouth sometimes, I'm just like, what did you just say? Well, once I feel comfortable, uh, uh, you know, I start cracking jokes. But it's funny because I was going to say the same thing about her. Ever since we met years ago, um, she would, we would like, let's say have a party at our house and she would sleep late, she would wake up super early and go to work, do gazillion clients, and I like always- 16 clients yeah, a day. <laughs> I always tell this to Aro and um, the girls at the office, she's such a hard worker and, and, when I would go to the room or even downstairs, depending if you guys slept at the guest room or the <laughs> downstairs on the couches, the room was spotless. She had to like, you know, I'm make sure the, freak. yeah. So I was like, <laughs> I have to not clean. a lot of people are like that. I even noticed that, but no, I think it's just um, like, same thing kind of you said about me. That's how I feel about you. You work so hard. I feel like you don't get tired. Like don't. even your videos, you film so late and then you have something Such else. A bad the habit. It's a bad habit. It's a bad habit, but like it's a great habit Thanks, to also, bro. you know, be able to take it all in. We're and just then, gassing each other up over here, guys. Yeah, we're just, you know. <laughs> One thing I have to say, um, sometimes we don't see each other too often because she's busy and I'm busy. But when we do, it's like, it's like you pick up where you left off. Oh, I feel yeah. like her personality and Sebastian too is just, it's fun. And we literally like, we'll, we'll, we'll go like a month or two or whatever, not talking. And the next thing we're like hanging out and it was like, it's like we just saw each yeah. other yesterday. So, and I feel that's like. That's a good thing. I feel like if you have good friends, that's how it should always right. be. If it's ever like awkward, it's kind of like, are they even your friends? You know, right. We're okay. adding a little bit more base on the lid. I'm not doing a cut crease, but I do need to just add a little bit on there. Actually, with the next shade, you don't even really need an extra base, but I am that girl that likes to just kind of... The palma. Palma, yeah. You didn't have so I'm going to apply that with my finger. Me too. So weird, I do it with my middle finger. Like oh, you do too. Oh, okay. So I like to just do it with the finger first. <laughs> just... <laughs> Good job. You sick ass. <laughs> You know, back in the day, I was mentioning this, how I used to not like it to ever like pass the crease or like fade, but I actually prefer that fade look now. I never, I don't really like the whole cut look as much anymore. I feel like it doesn't look as natural. And something about this looks more magical when it's like feathering yeah. into the other shade. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab um, Wanderlust again. If you guys don't know what Wanderlust means, it means the sudden strong desire urge to travel. And as you guys know, I love traveling and one of the shades I always would find when I travel, like anywhere you go, is this terracotta burnt sienna shade. 
anywhere you go, you will find something yeah. there that looks like it, whether it's like clay pots or anything you go. And when I went to Morocco in particular, that was the one color that all the buildings had. And I was like, dude, that sienna Such shade is everything. Shade. And I know, I know you can find them in many palettes, but it's a color that I feel like when you're traveling, you'll always, always see this everywhere. And you can never go wrong with an eyeshadow, that color. Look at this freaking color. See? Oof. It's, it's just beautiful, guys. I don't know, something about it like- Oof, that is so, dude, your blending is goals. <laughs> Find your friend, they'll hype you up like that. No, it's, look at it. It even looks better in person. So I'm gonna apply my lashes. I'm using, this one is from Layered Cosmetics. It's called Funfitty. Um, okay, so one question is, what are your pet peeves? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> Everything in the world. <laughs> when they chew, when people chew with their oh mouths open. Oh my god, it just drives me crazy. Me too. Woo! Or if a person is eating with the um, silverware and they make that sound. Oh no, I can't. What or the sound? soup. Like, uh, no. No, uh, gonna, I have so many. I have so many. Okay, you use. say it because if you say it, it might give me. I might remember more. Okay, I have a lot. So chewing gum, like that whole like popping, smacking. Like a horse? Yeah, mouth open when they're eating. People, when they talk and eat, I can't. People standing really close to me in line, like if I'm at the grocery <laughs> store and they're like this behind me, I literally will turn around and I'll just stare like, can I help you? I, I mean, everything in life, guys, is my pet peeve. <laughs> People. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with my Miami lashes from Lily Lashes. The best lashes ever. I love. Actually, I actually um I like them fresh, but I actually like them when they're like ten uses in because they get kind of like fluffy. They look a little more worn, and they just look so like more natural. It's so good. And if if you don't, and, and it, it feels very comfortable. Yeah, and then if you are somebody, let me try to find this product. If you like them, if you want to, you can even get like a spoolie and do this. It's like that little trick that you could you could do with literally any lash, and it'll fluff them up, and it'll kind of just. Make them look a little more fuller cool. too. Yeah. I'm using shady eyeliner in the inside and I'm gonna smudge it down a little bit. Okay, so someone just asked me what my favorite product from Dose is, and I have to say, their liquid lips. Their matte formulas are one of the best, one of a kind, just so comfortable to wear, so just the payoff, everything on it's so great. Um, their packaging is nice because it's very small. I feel like it's compact, so you can literally, I mean, look how tiny that is. It's like perfect, you know? It's definitely cl yeah. clutch size. And then second to that, favorites from them would be their eyeshadows. Again, amazing formula. All their shadows have never been a disappointment. If you guys have ever tried like their palette, the five palettes, um, like their big browns, marvelous mauves, I feel like you should come out with more one day if you ever do. I know you are. That's why I said it that way. <laughs> Anyways, those are great too. They should just, you know, good stuff. Thank you, thank you so much. It means, honestly, it means a lot to me. All right, I'm gonna go in next with the YSL Touche Galette Blur Primer. This is gonna just blur my skin. This stuff smells incredible, and it has like, Never just used makes it. your skin literally look like heaven. Oh, it feels cool. Yeah. It's very lightweight, which is why I really like it. Wow, it smells so good. And I just like to put this like mainly on areas where I get kind of, okay, everywhere. <laughs> what foundation are you gonna wear? I don't know, I figured it out yet. Well, you already did your under eyes, huh? Oh, no, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna use um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. My color is Dawn. Cover this five hair. Okay, so a, a big question we've been getting a lot of is what advice do we have for first-time entrepreneurs, anybody wanting to be a young entrepreneur, creator? Right. What would you recommend? Um, oh my God, her eyes look so good. When it comes to starting um, your own business, and it doesn't have to be cosmetics, I feel like it could be anything, mm -hmm. I would for sure say patience because um, you have to be patient. I had to learn throughout the you know years just to, everything takes time and you wanna perfect it. You, you don't wanna rush anything because you know everybody's gonna see it. So you wanna make sure it's perfect and you're 100% satisfied, you're happy with it. So don't rush, take your time, let it be a few months later, but you know, you want it to be perfect, then it's all gonna be worth it. All the waiting game is gonna be worth it at the end. You know, things can go wrong and that's okay. You shouldn't feel like you're the you're doing something wrong because I know a lot of bigger brands that have the same issues that has to do with the labs and the people you work with. And you know, a raw material, which is one of the ingredients, uh, can be delayed. So many things can go wrong. Right. And I don't try, I, I don't mean to scare you guys. Um, things can it's also go hear, really it's smooth. Good to know yeah, this, but just know like, if something goes wrong, it's okay. It happens to everybody. everybody. 
everybody. Yeah. I mean, I don't have like a makeup brand or anything, but definitely doing this collaboration is wow. Like, I didn't realize things like this can happen yeah. and whatnot. Um, I, I feel like coming from somebody on the, because Anna, before you, we got into Dose, you were definitely doing makeup, and then you were in the influencer world for a while too. Yeah, for a while. And you know, I feel like. Um, I've learned throughout. I mean. Oh yeah, it's something that you have to understand. Like you're gonna go, you're gonna go through ups and downs, and those downs are gonna are what's gonna really get you back up. And I tell everybody too. Um, one thing I, that really helped me. Um, is having a, a planner, like a physical planner. We're both the same way. Oh, yeah. We're old school. We have a physical planner. When I'm planner. organized, I feel good. I feel like having a physical sleep. planner, you're really able to see your schedule, what you can do, what you can move around. Like that to me pushed me so much harder because yeah. back then, before I was ever busy with anything um, influencer wise, I would sit there and I would look at it and say, what can I do on these days? It's okay, on this day, we're going to do this, 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 and that. I would make schedules of what I'm going to do. And it kept me busy instead of waking up and being like, okay, what am I going to do today? You know, it's like, no, like you have to have like a plan. You have to be three steps ahead of yourself. You have to be constantly like trying to figure out what's next. What's the next move? You know, it's not just like trying to figure out that morning. And right. I feel like that always pushed me. I know in the beginning when I even started Instagram, um, like doing little IG videos and whatnot, I would have a ring light and I would stack my books with my phone because I didn't have a tripod when I still freaking don't. But I would just like turn my phone like this and I would have the I would have this camera recording my lit videos, and I would record five or six yeah. back to back. That to me, I was like, I felt like, okay, cool. I did something for Instagram. I do have like my work and freelance on the side, but I also want to keep my page active and alive, and I never want to like fall off. So I would do that. I would schedule them out. What days I wanted to, to post them on. What day, what I was gonna do, and in between, I'm like, okay, tomorrow when I go to do this client's makeup, make sure you get before and after of her, but on the way, make sure you get a picture of your own makeup, completely different from what you're doing the day of. Like, always try to do that. And Line that's really what helped me grow and really keep my page just like flowing, you know? Cause you never just wanna like die out on that. The entrepreneurial life is, it, it seems very easy, but it's really like yeah. triple the work, you know? So this has been my nose contour brush since the beginning of times. It's actually a dose brush. Everybody knows I use oh, this yeah. for all my stuff. When well, you it, told me you use that for my for your nose, then I started you're using just that. Clean. I'm gonna use your. <laughs> Thank you so much. And of course, Hula. This has been like my day one like step with these, but this one just it just I don't know what it does. See, it just curves into the nose. It's perfect. It's it's narrow but rounded, so it's not too sharp, and you're really able to kind of maneuver the brush. Oh the my god, around. I want a little overboard right now. Oh what? My phone's right on the oh, hel helmet head. Five pins. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab Wanderlust and smoke underneath my eyes. I'm gonna do this before I add the blue. I was gonna do the blue first, but I need this just like buffed out. I'm like the slowest person ever to do no, that. Everybody knows that, because I'm always on my damn phone. Can't wait for our salad. And then we ordered salads, we're being healthy, and they're like, a, it's like a quinoa salad. Who am I now? I, I count calories, that's not like me. I'm a person oh, that, that looks loves so good as a blush. So I've never pretty. thought about that. Anna loves her sweets just like me. That's why we get along too, because oh, yeah. we love our sweets, we love our takis, our hot Cheetos. Ugh. We love, you know she what had I a like? table right here, right in front of me. It's with takis, pelones, little paletas de elote with chili on them. Oh my god. I feel like when I look at it and I don't touch it, I lose more weight. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna use this angle brush. I recommend these when you guys are working on getting a very precise under eye. So I'm gonna grab it on there and I'm gonna spray it down. So when you're doing this underneath the eye, I really recommend to actually wet the brush because it has a lot of reflex in there. Okay, so now I wanted for her to explain to you guys how it works, but now that she's done, I'm going to apply my highlighter. I mean... It's wet. Mm, wet. Hello, wet. can wet. you see me? Wet. Over here. And, and I'm like barely getting any product. It's very... Telling you guys, it's very, very, very... Very pigmented. Like, I'm telling, like I've always said, like one tap like this much, it's like... So good. Crazy. That's how did you and Anna decide to do a collab? P.S. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like when you're gonna collaborate with someone, it's very important to collaborate with people that you know inspire you, people that you like, people that you get along with, because it is a long process. And you know, going back with Karen, you know, we have history together. So when it came to my second collaboration, I just I knew it was like. I knew we would be so good because I feel like her makeup style and make, my makeup style is really like similar. similar. So it's it's like it's really important. I feel like I'm doing a collab with my 
friend. It doesn't seem like work, and um, it never felt like yeah, work it never either. felt like work. And even all the colors we would pick, she would say, "I want this, this, this." It just felt so right to me. She first told me, I was like, "Oh my goodness, there's no way this is." Happening. I was like, "Okay, all right, let's go, yeah, let's do even, it." Even though we are friends, it's still one of those. Did I just? I mean, work is work, you know. Yes. So yeah, wait, I don't remember which one I used. I think I used this one, but just really happy about so excited about you're excited but like work is work that's why I, I feel like you know there has to come a time where you put like your friendship aside and like you know don't be like anytime she would say like for example if she got the eyeshadow and she thought it was like too brown or too red I would be like Karen like make sure it's okay if you tell me like five times that you want to tweak it I gotta make sure that you're happy like don't just say it's good only because you know you're shy to say it again that you you want to tweak it because that's very natural like you go through tweaking and you know perfecting for so long so I was like don't just say it because we're friends and you want to oh you yeah know. she made it very clear yeah like, like you gotta make sure you love it so if we have to go back and every, every time I would do something she would be like Karen are you sure and I'm like yes you know or or no I don't think it's gonna I don't think that I like how that one's looking you know it's okay because at the same time it's like your vision may not be what the lab's vision is you know and they may not understand my taste so it was really nice being able to do it together I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do aesthetic I haven't done that one on camera yet and it's actually one of my favorite shades it was one of my favorite it was actually the hardest, hardest one to make shade. hardest absolute hardest shade to make because it is literally this like orange brown and it was one of those like my, like I mentioned before my inspiration was the, the wanderlust shadow for the lips but to get that in a lip formula it was tough how many times did we make? it was it was tough because you know when you're doing a liquid matte lipstick first when you put it on it's light and then when it dries it gets um, darker so it was either getting too dark or too, too orange yeah so it, we went back and forth a lot until we were like okay we were like finally Finalmente. I'm gonna do matte cover with this one Okay, someone is asking, it's great that you guys get along, but do the men get along also? The answer is yes. Probably more than us. <laughs> Similar. Like they have, they're very calm. It's like a, kind of like calm. a brother, brother kind yeah. of bond. They do get along and I feel like it's so great because um, like, you know, when you have a good friend, like you want their husband, boyfriend, fiance to get along also because I feel like you can all be in one room and have a really good time. It really sucks if you have to be like, I'm going to go hang out with this girl, but then my boyfriend doesn't get along with right. that. You know what I mean? You never want that. So definitely have to say they, they do like each other. They have a lot in common. They love cars. They talk about cars all day long. It's the cutest thing ever. I feel like they got along ever since like we've, I forgot how they met, but so did I. I think it was at my house. All right, Andrew, do you have a question for us? If you weren't doing anything involving makeup, what would you see yourself doing? Mm, that's a very good question. I would definitely be in some type of like criminal investigation, forensics. Ooh. I've always loved that. I actually wanted to do that's that cool. before and like till this day I still watch so many shows and documentaries. Every time there's like a murder or like something, I'm always like, I want more details on it. I'm really fascinated by that. I think it's a really interesting, it's just an interesting path to be behind it, being able to maybe like help solve, I think it's because I'm a problem solver kind of thing. It's very just something I would it's love. Thing, I would yeah. love to do. Yeah, and I think like investigating. Very different than makeup. Oh my god, so That's different. Cool. I've always been into that. Always, always. And then on top of that, I've always like loved like arts, like performing arts kind of things. I've always been into like, I don't know All the things fun like stuff. that. Yeah. I love makeup so much. It's so hard for me, but yeah. I think I would probably do something with fashion. If it wasn't for this, I would probably go to school and become like a fashion designer. Of course, that'd be rad. That's something very inspiring too. I'll do all the ripped clothes in the world. <laughs> and last but not least, we gotta bless our faces with some Fix Plus. It's so crazy. I think I'm the only person that doesn't use Fix Plus. <sighs> Get over here. I cannot believe we are even friends. Mm. All right, guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me and Anna a little more and get to see this look go down. You guys can see it's completely different from each other, but yet so, so alike. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also subscribe to Dose of Colors channel. We did a video on there, which I will link up here or down below. So be sure to click that when you guys are done. Also be sure to like, comment, and share this video if you guys can. Let me know below too um, if you guys have any similarities questions. to us with our pet peeves, any questions, anything. Just. Chat with us, talk to us, we're on here. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me and Anna. Of we course. love you guys so much. Bye we guys, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.